My name is Professor Amit Kanchanbaras. I am the head of the Department of Finance at ISBI Business School and Area Chair Placements uh, at the same institution. Having an experience of almost two and a half decades, I come from the banking industry, and what we, what I do over here is to basically have the students ready for the most important event of a B school placements. Yes, it's placements. So today we'll be talking about what's so unique about the placements, how the placements happen, and how ISBR is able to achieve greater heights year on year to get the students placed with their dream roles. So what we also have with whom we also have with us is Ms. Amina Sattar, who is the placement head, an equal veteran in the industry, comes from the similar experience, and she will also talk about how her strategy is, what she looks into in terms of the placements, in terms of the companies, in terms of the roles, because it is meant for the students. It's not that what we want. So that's a perfect synergy, a perfect chemistry of how the two departments work together. And we will talk about that in the time to come. So just to start with it, we have the we do we start with the uh, readiness part of it right from the year one, and in parallel we have the placement head who also works similar to uh, parallel to us to get what kind of roles we are looking at. So I'll talk about the readiness in terms of use uh, in a little while, but I would like my colleague to also tell you guys what she does, what unique she is doing, her team is doing to get those magic companies for the students at ISBR. Over to you, ma'am. Uh, my name is Amina. I head the placements at ISBR B School, and uh, we precisely look at the iconic brands. And uh, uh, if I have to name, we start the placements in the very beginning uh, of the uh, first year, uh, right from preparing them with the mock GDPIs, training them on the aptitude test, lab projects, internships. We have two types of internships: summer internship and winter internship. We ensure that the students at the end of their academic uh, uh, year, they are ready for the placements. So uh, the kind of brands we have uh, in parallel with ISBR, uh, I would like to tell you in terms of finance, we have all the big four, Tamil, KPMG, PricewaterhouseCooper, uh, ENY uh, and Deloitte. And uh, talking about marketing uh, stream, we have L'Oreal, uh, we have uh, Wipro Consumer Care, we have TCS, uh, Operation Stream, we have Decathlon, uh, Flipkart, Amazon, uh, 42 years and uh, we have also specialization in uh, business analytics which is a boom in the market today and uh, we have uh, empanel companies like Rakuten, uh, Optimal Strategic Group, uh, Adigo, Hexaware, Dell, Dell International, Dell EMC uh, and much more. Uh, so now we prepare the students and ensure they get into this uh, iconic brands and how we do that is I have lots of support from the academic team who train them, who, who groom them uh, to be at par with the industry. Um, yes, uh, this is uh, about the companies. Right. So that is something we basically, you know, what ma'am said is absolutely something which is a target for us, a challenge in terms of how we can get our kids ready for that. So the way it works is that the readiness is happening in the parallel in terms of the, the communication skills, the aptitude skills, the domain knowledge, which is very important. So we do a 360 degree mentoring, which comes with the help of alumni, which comes with the help of corporate connects that we have, which comes with the help of corporate mentoring and industry advisory board each department has. So it's a a whole lot of you know inputs coming from the experts from the who's who which is readying the students for the roles that the placement team is gunning for and getting it for these kids so that is the way you know it's like a complete demand supply match of what is the demand in the market the supply is ready in terms of fulfilling it to offer that and it becomes a win-win situation therefore the efforts become fructified and you have a successful story to talk about so some roles what madam spoke about say in the field of finance they're into the taxation side they're into the audit side they're into the uh, the roles of you know financial analytics they're into the roles of business analytics into the role of inside sales into the roles of you know doing something on market research getting into the space of you know doing uh, uh, research regarding the you know location strategy so these are some of the niche roles which today three years plus kind of a, uh, laterals are going to get are getting it so our kids are getting it right now and that's what is the strength of isbr when we talk about placements the brands the companies and the strategy that goes behind it 
one important thing is by the students for the students and the, they work closely with the placement head to know this is what we want how do they get to know that they decide the dream company they do understand their skill gaps they do the tna part training need analysis and come back to us saying yes this is what we need to train upon that is what i do that's what my team does and then when we share this with the placement head she is able to then connect and take it forward so i would request the uh, amina ma'am to talk about in terms of how challenging it is to get these brands because for us for them there are other ivy schools as well so how challenging it is and how successfully she is able to get because that's a big success story ma'am would you like to talk about yes. it yes uh, so what we do is we initially start the uh, empowering the companies and then now uh, we uh, onboard them and ensure that every year the ctc is revised so we have companies like uh, example hexaware which used to come in 1820 for 8.8 lakhs and now they are at 11 lakhs so every year there is a revision similarly with tcs price water house cooper every company we ensure that every year they revise their ctc and it does not remain same so the packages which were 6 lakhs have been revised to 8 lakhs so we ensure that there is something better in terms of roles and ctc uh, so this is what we do in in terms of the corporate uh, we try to convince them and of course based on our academic uh, modules what we have uh, they they give us better roles you know uh, the kind of curriculum we are having uh, they enrich it in uh, terms of role and ctc right yes. absolutely so if you heard madam the way it is it's not only getting the roles but negotiating for higher packages and that's very important very few b schools do that and that's where the strength lies of the team in terms of connecting their network the relationship matters a lot and this has been happening year on year the average has gone up average by 25% the base package has gone up and the roles have enriched so that is kind of setting a benchmark by the placement team to the delivery team that is academia and admissions saying get me those students here are the roles so see how wonderful it works in terms of you know when the marriage happens between what the students are looking for and this is what we have to give for society general for example it came first time with the help of her efforts which she was doing for the last 9 months or so maybe more i may be wrong in that but how it got converted a role which was done not in india banks don't do it in india it came to india and we were maybe the first ones who got it and that time was something as an academician i'll tell you as a banker i'll tell you it was a complete nightmare how to go about it i along with my colleague professor kiran we spent at least 10 hours with our students to make them understand the fundamental of what credit is how default happened and all of that and that is how that orientation helped to get the job by the two candidates so it was a perfect you know example of getting efforts to get that brand and us converting it then it becomes a you know a story to talk about because her efforts will only get recognized if there are selects happening so that's how this chemistry works so what is being said in the large scale is that isbr placements is not placement which happens in the final leg of the final year no it starts right from day 1 Now madam is already talking of looking at placements for the 2325 batch though there's one batch graduating now in this year but she started looking forward that's how ISBR looks at and i from my side as the area chair gets my students ready i get the trainers on board i get the domain experts on board so that makes her to give the right support and she's able to get those brands for us so it's a pure demand supply situation that we handle tires we are which has been the success story so far and we are proud to talk about it i would lastly like to request ma'am to talk about the placement stats to talk about how the placements have improved year on year and where we stand as compared to our peers ma'am would you like to talk yes uh, i would like to tell that how we have been improving the placements is Uh, it is completely the students performance in the companies so the students have been doing a brilliant job in the company so hence the uh, the companies are coming back with the better roles and better ctc so it all uh, it is uh, it is a collaborative work i can say it's just not the placements academics or it is also the students who involved in this and ensure they are doing a great job at uh, whatever role they are and because of their good performance we are able to get the companies back to uh, the campus right so last but not the least we are here isbr is there as a learning platform 
enriching your skills and get your dream fulfilled that's the team work we have at isbr who ensures placements year after year success after success we keep creating we keep creating history so with this i would like to sign off and uh, thank you all for taking out the time look forward to some of you at isbr we would be more than happy to host you and help you goodbye thank you thank you